Today we're going to talk about package design. And all the information within this presentation comes from a book entitled Package Design Workbook by Stephen Dupuy and John Silva. So mastering the art of package design all has to start with one question. And that is, what is package design? And if I needed to summarize package design into one word, it would be experience. But if we were to dive a little bit deeper, or as we dive a little bit deeper into package design, we'd find that there are six purposes of packaging. And they are containment, security, protection, convenience, information, and marketing. It is also important that we remember that packaging is a three-dimensional experience. Designers need to think of packaging from a holistic perspective, always keeping in mind its function and purpose. All sides of a package can and do serve in completing a sale. They extend the story of the brand and product, allowing consumers to experience the brand further if they choose. And one of the ways we do this is with typography. More than simply applying fonts or typefaces, typography is the craft of selecting, customizing, creating, and integrating type solutions. A great deal of personality and emotion can be communicated through typography. Beyond the words and sentences the letters form, type can express elegance or distaste, strength or fragility, rage or tranquility, indulgence or caution, and anything in between. Mediocre typography can deflate even the best package design. Similarly, brilliant typography can produce successful results when almost everything else is lacking. Packaging and brand design experts need to understand target consumers inside and out. They need to be on the lookout for new trends that might affect brands, not only in the design community, but on a global and sociocultural scale as well. With this in mind, it's important to remember how we see. We see color first, then we see shape. Next we see photography or illustration. And finally we see words. And the Bandafull package is a good example of taking advantage of the order in which we see things. Bright colors, a rectilinear shape, uh, no photography, only simple illustration. And finally, very clear wording to inform us of what the packaging is for. It's also important to know the history of package design. The first self-service grocery store, Piggly Wiggly, was opened in 1916 in Memphis, Tennessee by Clarence Saunders, an inventor and entrepreneur. Prior to this innovation, grocery stores operated over the counter with customers asking a grocer to retrieve items from the inventory. Evolving over time from basic utility to marketing vehicle, the simple package has become complex. It still functions, of course, but now it's made from a host of high-tech materials and has taken on unconventional forms and shapes. It features delivery systems such as pull tops, self-cooling devices, biodegradable inks, and date codes that change color when expired. All of these innovations improve and expand on the functionality of the package while giving the manufacturer an edge over its competition. Branding has grown to become the most important marketing tool, with packaging as its most ardent companion. The package serves two masters. It hosts the brand and it entices the potential buyer through inviting graphics, and entertaining visuals. Now that consumers could stand in the aisle and choose their own product, they were often overwhelmed with the number of choices that they were presented with. Without the package, the product is indistinguishable from its competitors. Packaging and the image it carries serves as a motivator for the consumer to choose one product over another. It is at this point that branding plays an important part in choice. It helps consumers make decisions by saying, trust me, you know me, you have always had great results with me. 
use me again. Walter Landor, Henry Dreyfus, and Sal Bass are three of the significant branding and packaging pioneers in the field of design. Their strategic approach and creative excellence earned the respect of clients and propelled the professional brand design industry forward. For all designers, whatever they call their specialty, it is key to be attuned to events that can shift in thought as these occurrences will give rise to new styles and vocabularies. Designers must strive to create work that speaks to current cultural environments while stretching boundaries into new sensory experiences. Packaging is an essential component in our culture, more than a container, a bag, a box, or a bottle. It tells stories and makes promises in an attempt to win trust. It presents and promotes, informs and instructs. A package's eye-catching graphics and messages make all kinds of products desirable, sellable, understandable, memorable, and entertaining. Essentially, in the first three to seven seconds after a shopper encounters a product on a store shelf, designers have the best chance of turning a browser into a buyer. The way to do this is by appealing to the consumer's senses, values, and emotions. So how does design affect consumer behavior? One, it attracts the eye with greater impact on the shelf. Two, cause the belief that a product is better than its competitors. Three, provides clear and relevant information. Four, appeals directly to the senses. And five, links consumers to communities. The art and science of package design. So in packaging design, it's important to create a rational and emotional con connection. Design taps into both modes of thinking, rational and emotional, to make lasting connections with consumers. Successful package design plays both sides of the fence by integrating left brain strategies with right brain creative vision. The services of a skilled package designer are not purely about creating a beautiful design. They're about an intuitive understanding of what motivates consumers to purchase a product or service. Designers and marketers need to realize they are not just selling products. They are telling stories through packaging. Package design is the visual expression of the brand's soul. Used effectively, packaging can define, build, and entertain consumers. To do this, however, both art and science must be considered. An important part of the process is research. Successful brands are not built on knowledge that consumers behave a certain way, but rather from understanding why these particular consumers behave the way they do. The right kind of research provides knowledge about what exactly is relevant to the consumer. The research that is most useful in informing the package design process indicates what consumers think and feel about a brand. Understanding trends helps designers entertain, influence, inform, and motivate consumers' product purchase decisions. The adoption of trends in package design can get complicated. If you are too early, you can miss your target consumer. Too late, and you are seen as old news. Thus, visual concepts that express trends must be applied with careful consideration of the product's brand and its promise. Innovation born from collaboration. Collaboration between client and designer is vital in any design. But how do these two very different yet similar groups effectively work together to create great packaging? First, it is important to encourage collaboration. Fundamental to any successful creative endeavor is the synergy of the team involved. Second, stress communication. Understand how different team members process information. Third, remain open-minded. Acknowledging other people's disciplines and stresses allows you to judge and comment on project issues more objectively. Fourth, nurture everyone's strengths. 
Encourage and allow other people to share the spotlight and show their talents. Fifth, clarify and share your vision. Make certain every team member has the same goals. Sixth, embrace complexity and uncertainty. Enjoy the challenge by accepting the unknown. And finally, seventh, respect the courage it takes to make bold decisions. Is the team climbing Mount Everest or just going to the top of the building? Does the team have a consensus? Remember, no guts, no glory. Expanding your creativity. Creativity is the ability to produce work that is both novel and appropriate. Innovation is the result of creative thinking. Toward that end, an expansion of creativity shakes up the old and opens up new ideas. Carpenter Collective describes the Little Chef packaging in the following way. Developing the brand identity for the Little Chef was part naming, part brand exploration, part packaging development, and part experimentation with Digimark's new invisible barcode technology. Digimark has developed technology so that designers no longer have to place ugly barcodes on packaging forms ever again. It's pretty exciting that the entire packaging piece is a connected package, allowing you to literally scan anywhere on the box with a POS scanner or phone. The Little Chef brand identity and packaging system was a perfect opportunity to showcase this new technology. We knew we wanted an inventive way to show the product without having to rely on a photograph of the pasta on the package. Our solution was to create a custom die cut window reflective of the shape of the pasta, revealing the pattern of the inner box that reinforces the visual and flavor cues. Our Italian grandfather inspired the Little Chef brand. His love of Italian cuisine always taught us that the way to someone's heart was through their stomach. The exterior of the box showcases the inspired Little Chef beginnings, along with other fun pasta facts and details of the made-from-scratch pasta. How do you maintain a level of creativity to produce great idea after great idea? You can try these approaches. Practice making unusual and unexpected mental associations. Rearrange and alter the balance of attributes. Acquire information in many areas. Develop good skills so you can concentrate on being creative rather than focused on mastering one plan. Work hard. Creativity is not the product, but the process. Be confident. Be persistent. Be perceptive. Be prepared for criticism. Seek help in your weaker areas. And focus on what you love to do. So in summary, we need to create an experience. Develop something which is innovative and informative. And make sure our design shows the brand soul. If we can do those three things, we will be well on our way in creating successful package design. Thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoyed the content of this presentation.